Hello, uh, this is another video about Marble Clay. Um, this video is about this little application that I did. Uh, it's called TD, TMD Anim. Um, basically, it, it, it's not really related to Marble Clay, um, but Marble Clay uses it in a script. So um, basically, if you can generate a, a individual TMD frames, then you can use T, TMD Anim to generate the, the pack file and, and use the viewer and use the viewer code in whatever you want really. Um, so this is where I post updates. It's uh, United for United 3D Artists Forum. Um, this is the thread. So it started off by just doing the translation and it kind of worked into a bit more. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to install the program just in case. This will probably be the last time I show you how to do this because I've shown before. You go to the website um, and you just download the latest version, which is always going to be up here. I've already done that, so um, and to install it, it's I I always put it in the C drive, but you can put it in the program files folder. But for my plugins to work, it has to be just Marble Clay. It can't have um, the version number at the end of it. Um, so when you first run it, it'll start off with this configuration script. You can go, you can figure it out, I guess, yourself. It's not that hard. Um, the English is a bit weird, but anyway, um, I'll explain. I think I explained that in the other video. Um, this isn't about Marble Clay so much. Um, it, it only drives. So Marble Clay is used to drive the, um, the script, which kind of has it all set up. So it's, it's easy to see using Mobile Clay, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, to install the... Oh, I'm kind of going ahead of myself. So uh, the latest version is always on the last post. So if we go to the last post that I posted an update, which was version 4. So you just download it. Um, yeah, and you just want to copy and paste all of it I guess. Make sure you have a backup first before doing this, obviously. Uh, so, okay. Um, so what, what this did, it, it installed um, some of the plugins which which I'm maintaining, which are um, the RSD exporter. RSD is the PlayStation format, which is a text format. It's a, it, they call it an intermediate format because it's it's used by this other program to generate the TMD files. The TMD is a binary format which PlayStation then converts into um, like a runtime 3D uh, packets and, and ordering list, ordering tables and that kind of thing. Um, and the other tool is this run batch tool, which um, which using it looks at it looks for the script file in the certain folders. And it just goes through the, it just goes through each, so it, it understands a few commands and then everything else that it doesn't understand, it just assumes it's a um, command shell, command line interface type program. So, which is, which is really handy, it just automates everything. And anyway, so I should have made a shortcut, but anyway, we'll start Marble Clay again. Um, so in theory, you just click this button and it should just work. But I, I know it's not going to. This is a, a, a new VM and I kind of changed a few things. And, and obviously, I didn't test this before uploading it on this new VM. Uh, so it's not going to work. But OK, we'll, we'll, work, we'll work our through, way through it. Um, so the first thing you want to do is um, turn the echo off. Ignore it, and then we can kind of see what it's trying to do. Um, so, oh well, obviously we don't have a model installed, so that's what that means. And it just exited. So um, I've I've got some demo. So I actually forgot to install. So the TMD program and the NetYRZ side of TMD Anim is here. So obviously we need that. So we just extract it and we can cut 
and paste that into um, I use Eclipse but you don't need to use Eclipse you can use whatever ID you want and it's interfaced using the make file so in this case the work uh, the workspace is under C so I'll just paste that in here and there it is I'm going to copy and paste the, the the URL for the for the project and I'm gonna load it up into clips as a new project or as an existing so what I'm want to do is I want to I think it's import I haven't used this uh, so I guess it's that one yep so we want that there yep it's found it everything default should be fine okay so um, these are the the targets so these come from the the make file um, this video is not about um, how to use Eclipse but um, I'm gonna go through the make file I know there's a few things wrong with the make file so this line needs to be removed um, and also the all so what all does is it builds um, using GCC but in this VM there's no GCC so this is going to fail um, it's actually so GCC, GCC is what I use for development I guess and for release I use TCC which which is is fine because it doesn't need um, dependencies on any DLLs and that kind of thing whereas GCC does so um, I think that was it those two things. Um, so now to build it, it's test. So that built the Rosie side, um, and there it is. It's it's working because um, so it's using the existing TMDs that were there, and then it just it just worked. Um, So if we have a look at the script, um, which is strange, it's looking for, for this program, which is the build of the T TMD anim, but I didn't think it was here. But anyway, to build it, it's release, um, and it fails because it's using the strip from the NetUrosi GCC. So it should be fully qualified should be fully qualified with um, um, like this so it doesn't get confused um, that strip was from my GCC setup so it shouldn't really be there uh, so if we remove that actually no not there this should be TCC yep there it is again release okay that worked so yep and there it is so um, yeah so that worked because the make file uses uh, what's in the path and I have I've already kind of put it in the path previously so I just use that whereas the script the script it needs to be in here um, so if we have a look at the script Yeah, okay, so I'm going to clear this out, so actually what I'm going to do is not clear that, like that. So um, the script will delete these when it, when it generates. Um, so what we want to do is we want to load the, the model. So there's two models. The difference is the materials, uh, the no lights, uh, we'll load it with lights and I'll just quickly show so if you want a model ex exported with lights uh, meaning the normals um, you want to set this to any value and any value greater than zero and that will generate the the normals in the RSD and and then in the TMD and your your normals will work um, and to run the script it's it's 
just that button and now it's going through the script and it's I removed the echo so it's outputting all the commands and the results okay so it's generated 12 frames um, the way it works is it it uses it doesn't really use the first frame well it, it does it's all interpolated but I can't remember exactly how, how it does it off the top of my head but anyway it works um, so let's see okay and there it is um, so you can you oh there's something wrong there that should not be okay I wonder what happened there so anyway um, I'm guessing Uh, let's see if we delete all this and try in make because this this worked before so I'm guessing I must have done something to the maybe it was the changing that I doubt it mm, that's strange uh, okay, so the other problem uh, with what I uploaded, um, so I must have done this mostly on my laptop, and my laptop must be a lot brighter, obviously, because there's meant to be some quads displaying as a, um, like a path, um, but it can't, you can't really see it, well, at least I can't on, on this, on my monitor screen. So, um the fix is the fix is uh, let's see uh, it's related to the fog, fog. Um, I think it's this so if we change that to 256 that should make it a bit brighter while still having the the fog effect because you want to see the fog effect affecting the normal and the model um, yeah so now we can we can see we can see the the green squares which is like a, a path um, they they get blanked out that's that's the the normal well that's the the culling that the fog does, I assume, but it's not. Yeah, it's strange. It's not affected on, on with the lizard, so I'll, I'll need, need to look into that. Um, so I'm going to talk about um, the viewer now. The viewer is documented in this file. Um, oh, actually, maybe I should go through the commands for the TMD anim. The TMD anim. Uh, like I said, it doesn't need, which is here, it doesn't need to use, you, you don't need to use it in Marble Clay. Um, Marble Clay is just the package that, the 3D modeler, it, and it generates the RSD files. Um, it then gets converted, so if we have a look at the script, so it basically exports these objects which are here, so F1, F2, it exports them and exports them as left, center, and right. Um, it exports them as RSD, the intermediate PlayStation format, and then um, it also exports the OBJs um, for no reason, really. Um, and then it gets converted, so it converts the RSD into to TMDs. Um, I forget the parameter, I think, is a scale. So if you need to scale it up or scale it down, uh, one is no scale I think I can't remember exactly um, so continuing it just deletes the old stuff and it moves it into into this path so um, I suggest maybe keeping the same path for if you want to have this working um, and then um, yeah and then it runs the TMD anim here 
So the basic options are uh, so here they're explained here in the actual source code. It's pretty buggy. Um, it's pretty rushed code as well. Um, anyway, so uh, the T's are the tween frames, the inter basically the interpolation. So how many frames do you want in between the frames? So in this case, if if, if we said three, for example, the, it just puts three frames in between the the. Actually, we should have a look through here because this is basically. Um, so yeah, so F F1. So it what it does is the program reads all the TMD files that are in that folder, and it's it has to be ordered. So the first frame will always be the first file, and so on. Um, the interpolation of, of each frame um, specified by that uh, T number, the, so T and then a number has to come, no space, has to be right, T and then number, no space. Uh, yeah, so so it'll be, if if we said three, it'd be, it'd be three to get to this frame, and it's interpolated, so it's not exactly, it won't be exactly this frame or this frame, it'll be a it'll be whatever 3 gets interpolated in there and then the same between here another 3 and then and then if I can get the, and then another 3 so it'd be 3 3 3 which is 12 but yeah the, the frames will never be exactly the same unless you don't use interpolation in which case it'll just be um, the F1 F2 F3 and F4 and that's it um, so I'll undo that and then we'll continue with uh, I guess the options so the L is a loopback so it just it's it it's basically just a, a byte that tells your program whether this animation loops or not I think that's handy to know because some anim animations you want them looping and not worry about you know when it's finished or when if, if it's not looping then obviously you do want to know when it's stopped um, the, when the animation's finished so you can change it so that, that that's just descriptive it doesn't uh, I think it, it also adds an extra frame it act, yeah it act, so what it does it's been a while since I've looked at this in any detail so what that does is it actually adds um, if we can go back to yeah. Oh, I stopped up that, so uh, I guess it was here. So it goes three and then it puts another three and then three and then if you have a loop back it puts in another three to get back to the F one in this example. So you would have yeah, um six, twelve. Um, so that's the loopback. The no normals, no normals. Basically, it doesn't doesn't capture the normals for each frame or tween. Um, basically, uh, if you can do it, you, you, if you don't specify the no normals flag, you get a lot of normal data, which basically is exactly the same as your vertices data. So if you have a hundred vertices, for example, in your model, it'll have a hundred vertices for your normal data, and that that data gets used for um, lighting calculations. Um, but I found that if you use no normals, um, you can still have lighting calculations because your original TMD file, which the animation requires to to, to work, basically um, each animation frame is referenced from the original TMD file. And it just um, swaps the pointers out. Um, but yeah, if if you have no anim if you have no normals in the animation frame, it just uses the existing normals, which means you'll get lighting calculation and it'll it'll look okay, but it won't be exactly the same. So what I mean is, if um, if a normal in in your model, for example, the original the first model is is pointing um, up. 
for example. So in the, in the PlayStation up is negative Y, um, then um, when that model rotates, um, it it'll still be pointing the, the normal the normal will still be pointing up. So it'll it'll calculate that lighting as if that light that 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 model is pointing up. Whereas it, it obviously that would be wrong because yeah, um, it it's okay. I mean it's it's kind of hard to tell usually because the PlayStation doesn't really have it's only got three lights so. Um, yeah, it's. I I think it's fine, um, and it it looks okay. Um, I'll sh we can see it with the with the the lizard here. So um, as you can see, so this side is red and this side's blue. Um, so it, the normals are still they're still working, but because it's using it's using the first frame of normals, um, you can't really can't really tell. Um, you can only tell where, where the animation is affected, which would be here. But yeah, like I said, it's not worth worrying about. Um, the min max, the min max is um, two points in in the PlayStation. So basically, it just gives you gives you this. Um, so for each frame, it gives you this point and then this point down here, um, or wherever wherever the the the, the model has the largest the largest point and the the smallest point and usually because the PlayStation uh, like I said before the PlayStation has negative Y for up it'll the min will always be at the top um, so yeah which is kind of weird but it, it works um, so that's the min max um, and that's that's exported as um, t two files. So for each frame, you get two files, and you can see them here. So you get a, a text file. Uh, yep. So which, like I said, the these are up. These are the topmost, and these are the lowest most points for for frame zero. And you also get that in binary, which are the mm files. Um, th these are good because you can just just load load one up and and you've you've got you've got this pretty much which is just how this program works it just uses what this what this puts out it's just two two um, s vectors two short, two short vectors um, so anyway we'll continue uh, that's the min max the verbose it just gives you all the logging output it's just there's some help there as well um, yeah and if you if you run it without any parameters, it gives you this help, which is kind of weird. But anyway, it is what it is. So, it, which makes the the T option mandatory, and the others, or or I guess if you have the V option, it, it'll work as well. Um, so, moving on to the the application side. Um, so, the application. Uh, so I'll just go through the keys really quickly. There's a mistake here, so that should be down. Um, so basically, up is moving up and down. So this is in, um, so like, this isn't like a follow mode, so you can just move your model around and see it kind of traveling and being affected by the, the fog and the light, that kind of thing, at different distances. Um, the other mode is the follow, so you toggle them by the the left, the L1 and L2. So this is the the follow. I hope you can see that the tiles, the green tiles, are kind of hard to see. Um, you can reset the model by start, and it just puts it in the close to the zero zero coordinate. Um, so uh, when you're in, yeah. So when you're in follow, in follow mode. Uh, like a locked view follow camera. Um, it's tank control, so you rotate left and right, and then up is forward and back is back, pretty much. Um, so um, if you the R, R1, um, toggles the light and the fog on, on and off. So that's on the, the light. The light here is red on the left side and blue on the right. Um, and the fog is on. 
Um, you can, uh, so if we move that, we'll see the lizard kind of being affected by the fog there. Um, enough, yeah. So th the other views are um, the triangle moves the view up and the cross moves it down. The square moves it towards the zero point. So towards the model, wherever the model is, I guess. I think, or is it just a, a fixed location? I can't remember. Yeah, no, it's a fixed location, so, and it doesn't reset. But anyway, um, so that's the camera. The camera views are the, the face buttons, the PlayStation face buttons. Um, and then the select. If you hold down select and move down, um, so the shorter this number is, the faster the animation will go. The, the fastest being um, zero. So, and the V-Sync shows you, I guess, the resources it, it uses. Um, so if we turn off the the lighting and the fog obviously goes a lot faster and to speed up the animation it's it's uh, select and up uh, what else um, the reset oh, and exit and that was it um, I think I think I've covered everything um, you know like I said the min max is is very useful um, for debugging collision detection um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to show off that TMD anim kind of working, um, and along with marble clay. Like I said before, mar you don't need marble clay as long as you can generate an RSD file and convert it to a TMD and put it in a folder like this. Uh, it'll generate a pack and the the min max files. Um, yeah, and just as a reminder, I guess. Um, so the, the TMD anims require a an original TMD frame. It doesn't have to be anything special. It just has to have the TMD structure. So it has to. It can be any any of these. Um, but just remember, if you're using the normals, the normal calculations, that it will just use that that one that's in that TMD. So anyway, hope that wasn't too bad. <laughs> uh, I'll. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.